Hey, Ty here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. If you thought that $8,000 for a VR answer were too many, well, you weren't alone, but Canon didn't get the envelope because Canon today released a trailer for his next XR headset available this February with a price tag of $38,400. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So it's not the first time I talk about crazy stuff or super expensive stuff. Well, uh, I'm going to review very, very soon the Xtal 8K. We saw the unboxing of it. It's an $8,000 headset. And uh, well, we saw yesterday crazy stuff like uh, controlling everything with your mind. But yeah, this is kind of a bringing everything to another level because there's some interesting stuff in here anyway even if the price tag is super super high now it's not the first time that we see this it was actually announced in december in japan uh, but we just recently today got a new trailer with uh, many more characteristics about this headset to understand what it really is and what to expect from it. Anyway, the trailer was complete in Japanese, so I took the time to use my phone with Google uh, Translate and translate every single part to really understand what's going on. And this one is very interesting for many different reasons, for the design, for example, for the weight, for the creator of it, and also the purpose of this. So the particular thing of uh, this headset is there's gonna be an XR headset completely. So that means that with this, we're gonna have a VR and the AR experience where the AR part is not a pass-through uh, like we saw in HoloLens or other uh, AR headsets, but it's actually gonna use two sensors, CMOS sensors in the front that are the sensors that we have on any camera, like the one that you're seeing, to actually display without any distortion the word around you. And we know for sure that Canon is pretty good creating sensors and also optics. So uh, there's something that we can rely on. And for $38,500, well, they better get rid of those distortions. So to put in perspective with this, we can have a VR and AR experience at the same time. This is also not the first headset from Canon. They had other two in the past and they were working on making something lighter and lighter. And well, with this version, they arrived at 137 grams. That is absolutely unbelievable. It's the weight of your phone, for example. To put it in perspective, the Oculus Quest 2 is around 500 grams, considering the panty strap. So, well, it's pretty much four times less than that. Again, you better $38,400. How did they realize this though? Well, with some clever stuff. For example, they use micro OLED in front of the lenses and using pancake lenses that are able to make the distance much, much less. Of course, you don't have to expect a big FOV. Uh, the previous version was around 60 and 70 degrees uh, for the FOV. So, well, don't expect anything more than that. But we also have to say that with micro LED displays, the resolution is usually very, very high. Even if the display is not super high resolution, they, Pixels are super close to each other, so screen door effect is not a thing at all, and clarity is one of the biggest things also with the Panclet lenses. So uh, very, uh, very nice. We don't have information yet about the specifics of this headset, but well, uh, I think that they're gonna arrive very, very soon because this is due to release in February. Another thing that is absolutely a great idea is the fact that the whole body of this headset is actually working as a heat sink. So probably this is kind of metal uh, in the trailer, they change the color, uh, like if it's copper, so to give the idea of it, and they also say that it's a mechanism for dissipation. So that means that the entire thing, it actually helps to dissipate the heat, of course, created by the display. So no fan and stuff like that, and that's how they contained the size, the match. A size like that means that it's super portable, of course. It's just weird that the example is to have a briefcase for it because like, well, it takes out all the purpose to have something very, very small, but well, they have that Halo style design they can use. I'm pretty sure that people are gonna be able to wear it in different ways. Also, you're gonna notice that, well, there's an opening on the side. So yeah, light leaking is absolutely a thing, uh, but there's also the handheld mode where you have uh, actually some barriers, so uh, you're gonna protect from uh, the light from the side so you have a better VR experience. Of course, it really depends what you want. It's completely moddable in that case. They also fit the IPD adjustment here, so really Oculus, there's no excuse anymore. And of course, with enterprise fashion, we have the flip up display option. So if you are a dev or stuff like that, you have to work on a PC, well, you can up in and out anytime you want. It's very cool how they show the interaction with this headset because of course, in an XR experience, so in a mixture of AR and VR, apparently you're gonna have your real hands in your VR experience to interact with objects and stuff. It doesn't uh, seem to have any 
uh, hand tracking right now completely seems like a, it works like a big button but already uh, the ability to have your own hands and not some uh, reproduction like we saw on the oculus platform for example it's very interesting for sure oh did i tell you that this headset is thirty eight thousand four hundred dollars uh, because yeah this thing is gonna be targeted of course not to us but as always when we have something this expensive to enterprise to manufacturing constructions training healthcare advertising education and stuff like that at least that's how canon actually is envisioning uh, this headset is going to be a little challenging though to ask some companies uh, for example in education uh, to just pay uh, that big price of $38,400 uh, for just a headset when we have uh, many different other things that worked in the past very very well and uh, yeah I think that they really have to prove something in the quality over here I'm sure that these new sensors to have a lifelike view will be unbelievable but at the same time well with three thousand dollars you can have an HoloLens that actually you have the real world uh, around you yes it's a little bigger yes it's a little heavier uh, but well it's also something that uh, we know uh, from years that works very well for developer with their own platform but hey, when I was asking for more headsets on the market, well, uh, I for sure wasn't really expecting something this expensive. And that makes me even more scared when I think about the uh, next uh, Apple uh, product that we talked about in uh, one of the latest videos. So, woof, that is gonna be fun. But I literally struggle to find actually a purpose to these headsets and to this price. Because yeah, it's gonna cost that uh, for the change that we have. Uh, with Japan so it's something that is gonna be very very hard to see in the market I don't even know if this is really the direction we want to go uh, with VR or AR uh, yes for sure we want something much much smaller and this is a, a great example or something like that well it's something that you can really put in your pocket like a phone and use it when you want to have your VR and AR experience but at the same time right now uh, doesn't seem we have any breakthrough when it comes to FOV when it comes to resolution and stuff like that yes we have a micro OLED that is the technology of the future but we saw many other headsets with the same technology that costs much much less like over 10 times less so yeah I wanted to share because I was like uh, wait what $38,400 and you know you know that they're serious about the price because if it was just 38,000 you would say oh they're joking no $38,400 so uh, you could have paid those too but anyway guys let me know what you think about it in the comment below do you think that something this small uh, will be a great uh, VR headset or a great VR experience do you see something like this actually getting traction also in the enterprise market uh, because to be honest I don't uh, I struggle to find really a reason to go for something like that uh, but hey um, let me know because maybe my mind is not open enough and my wallet is not deep enough. But yeah, that was all. So let me know in the comment below. And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you did like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, so the join button down there, digital down further. Also the Patreon with prior access to videos. And at the same time, we have t-shirt sticker mask 2021 item number one. And uh, yeah, that's all. Like this, like, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Put your money apart.